The scope of this place is... I can't believe we've looked into this. Are you worried it will make our other episodes look cheap? They are cheap. Can't be helped. This will be the one that people remember. The one that wins an Emmy? Exactly. That's the spirit. Stick with me, Erin. I'm going places. You think we'll get another season? Let me worry about that. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly and I'll make sure you keep working. Sound good? Uh, sure. Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Atta girl. Hello? Wow. An animatronic. That's what amazing. will it be, Mr. Dumet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, of course it was exact change. Damn it! Next round's on me. Promise. Yes. Come to daddy. Oi. Oi. <laughs> Life be so much easier with that in my jacket pocket. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Lord.
What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. OK, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah. If we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> OK, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. <laughs> I'll take it. Ark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. Before we... Look, can I say something? We agree that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. No, you're right. I, um... Uh... You're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Do you like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short-term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's... Shit! <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. There's gotta be a way through. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we should take care. Probably. Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. <gasps> Looks like uh, Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. 
Keep your head down. Rod is going to set in. Rod? That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. I can't place it. It's decay. Old house. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. Should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back. this. Yeah, I feel like Demet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue? When he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? Whoa. Just come on. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Kate, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> See? W what is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> it can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but... You know, he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me.
The rest of us are tired of watching you guys fight. And I'm tired of having those fights. He's just jealous. Jealous? Yeah, he doesn't like that I'm the one getting invited on to talk shows. You mean talk show? But point is, I'm the one people see on screen, so they want to talk to me, and he's being a baby about it. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but imagine if you were in his shoes. 40-something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. I guess I thought we'd move on together, like a team. Mark, look, this isn't your passion. It's just a job for you until you get your name out there as a photographer. You can't expect- I know. I hate this shitty documentary stuff. Charlie has got a clue about how to frame a shot, let alone tell a story. And get on with it. You're right. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. Kate! Mark! Dinner is on. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, on our way! Great. Did he hear us? Obviously, Mark. Hey guys. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour Mark. Let's all just relax. We just sat down, give the man a moment. He's the host. <laughs> Him not showing certainly tracks with every other lawn at Entertainment Inside Source. Come on, Kate. Hello? Mr. Dumet? Dinner time! Ah, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait, what? why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. He must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. It must be his kid, right? Didn't he say something about family? I don't remember. Either way, why did they leave? Does that mean we're the only ones here? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm about done with you all questioning my judgment. The man tells me he has artifacts useful to our investigation. Look around you. Did he lie? There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leave to conclusions. Or maybe he's just plain crazy. It wouldn't be the first time Charles booked an expert who's nothing more than a serial killer groupie. Not that I want to agree with you, like, ever. <sighs> but that's what I've been saying. Demet is no damn good. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you... You know, 
So when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Mm. Oh, God, Shit. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? Maybe if we all just sit here quietly and wish really hard, the magical post-production pixies will just assemble a cut for us and send it to the network. Let's raise a glass to the post-production pixies and Charlie's brilliant plans. <sighs> now, I would like to toast all of you, really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of 10. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm gonna be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. Great. Great.
My don't be scared. Oh. Sing it, and I won't be scared long. Damn it. Breakers. Shit. Hello? Mr. Demet? Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. <sighs> choices, Jamie. Make better choices. This is your own damn fault. Oh, thank God. Something from this century. storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. Repeat, this is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy rainfall are How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip of some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Hey, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. What the hell? Hey, hey, help! Somebody help me, I can't see a thing! I... Guys, guys, please! Aaron? Get me out of here! Break it open! It's not buzzing. Here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, 
two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Guys, I, I, I can't. Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark are trying to force it open. Somebody's in here with, with me. Oh, God. You're okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. <laughs> he... he was... Somebody was right there. In there with me. Aaron, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He... he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not... Nothing bad happened, Aaron. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. Ah. There you are. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. <laughs> 